How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy substitutes who live in L.A. and say they're Pittsburgh dad. Well, I thought I'd do a video today. It's not unboxing, but I thought it might be fun to show you what... Oops, here went the iPad. Show you what I got from the store today. I went shopping. So I'll just bring these out one at a time. A bottle of Heinz Relish. Uh... Shouldn't eat this stuff, it's cravings. I'll get fruit tomorrow. It's just so damn hot out there. It's 80 in here right now. And to the guy with the LED lights, LEDs put up very little heat. Okay, goldfish. A charger for my uh, track phone. I found my track phone. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did get one thing of fruit. This thing's happy. Hey. 12 cans of Sheba Cat. A thing of strawberries. Love strawberries. There's another bottle somewhere. Sugar Ray's barbecue. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue stuff. Not Sugar Ray, that was the fighter. There's more of this. Turkey kielbasa. Jenny O's. That's bag number one. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Caught here. Okay. Still got cravings. Got to put this in the ice box. Tombstone pizza. But I'm doing better. Uh... Bag of Brussels sprouts. There's another bag of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Great stuff for chicken or ribs. Another turkey kielbasa. Spaghetti and meatballs. Green cuisine. The third turkey kielbasa. They're cheap. That's why I eat them. Now these are fun if you've got cats. They're, cats love it, by the way. And by the way, I went out this morning, put my dry food down for the kitties. Some jerk deliberately went and spilled all the dry food all over the balcony and then uprooted the plastic pipe that held my little kind of palm tree thing that I've been raising from a pup. When I started, it was like this big, and now it's huge. So I'm not very happy about that. I just sweep that up. All right, this is called Frisky's Cat Concoctions, and they have various flavors. This one is cod and cheesy bacon. So that's what this one looks like. And then you have another one here, scrumptious, scrumptious salmon and chicken liver. I wouldn't eat salmon. I hate salmon. Um, and so you have four of those. So that's that. And then we have, oh yeah, big bottle of Snapple, peach. Uh, the other peach tea I like is uh, Rush Limbaugh's two of my tea. But that's about 24 bucks a case. Okay, what's this? Oh yeah, I stopped in uh, Ross's or Marshall's, I can't remember. I got this coffee cup, I couldn't resist it. This was two ninety nine. <laughs> this is how I feel in the morning. I'm allergic to mornings. <laughs> so I got that. Uh, drank some Snapple on the way to the bus. Recycle the bottles. This is a Duracell 9 watt LED lamp. And I'm going to replace that in a minute. Let's open that up. Just pull it out. And I will replace that and put the fluorescent away to give to one of my neighbors. So let's do that right now. Uh, I will replace the Snoopy light.
and uh, unscrew that. Now that one's hot. You can feel it. I'm unscrewing it. And I put my hand on the LED when I came home in the living room. Not hot at all. So we'll put this in there. And I'll get one of these a month to all the uh, fluorescents to replace with LEDs, thereby saving money and uh, saving energy and saving power. And boy, I got a lesser bulb, and that produces even less light than I had before. The other one was too bright. This is not as bright, so uh, that's a surprise. A thing of apricot jam. I got that for two ninety nine, I think. Or apricot. I don't know how they to pronounce that. A uh, thing of pineapple jam, which I love. And by the way, my subscription came in to... I paid for this a while ago. Yeah, I've got a subscription now to Men's Health. He's kind of bent. Uh, John Cena. So, Senna? Anyway, that's my Men's Health. I'll read that tonight. And let's see what else is in here. I'm still reading Jim Marr's book. And I stopped at uh, Harbor Supply and got a pair of flashlights. So what I'm going to do is hang when I these. This was like three bucks for two, which is cheap. You go to Fry's, they're like four bucks or something, and it's really bright. So I'm going to put one of these. Excuse me one of these in each room. Get rid of that. Let's see what else is in here. Yeah, another bottle of Snapple. Stopped at the liquor store and got Snapple. Got $20 of the quarter so I can do laundry. Yeah, this is Harbor Freight Supply. That's where I got the flashlights. And Friday I go down to the Apple store and take my Mac in because it's not recognized in the iPad. And I got a 60-minute card for track phone. And it cost me 20 bucks. And let's see, is that it? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, that's it for this bag. And I have one more. No, wait a minute. Do I? Yes. I have two more bags. Okay, another kielbasa. Let's put those away. I'll throw all that stuff in free. And I can save the bags. Probably the star breaks tomorrow. This is why I miss a car. The stuff. By the time I get on the get to the bus, and get on the bus, the stops. Stuff starts stalling. I didn't take the freezer bag today. Okay, I stopped at Taco Bell and we had two tacos, and two uh, some kind of burritos, and then I got uh, Kathy. Or I have broken all my ceramic bowls. So I got this Pyrex storage bowl so I can eat out of it or store food. And I got this nice Dutch oven. This is 13 bucks. Because the frying pan I had, they put the handle on and had it attached with sawdust from China. So this is an Imusa. Imusa Dutch oven, $13, nice lid, so now I can cook without having everything splatter all over the place, because my frying pan did not have a lid, I have a lid for it, but it doesn't, 
it's too too a little bit too small. And I think that's it. Let's see. A bunch of napkins, a bunch of chocolate sauce. And uh, that's it. So that's what I bought from the store today. I paid my Chevron bill. I paid the Phillips 66 bill. Uh, paid my internet bill in the morning. And I'm going to wait on the laptop until I get uh, the Nori check. So I won't be doing the laptop. And I guess I think I get bit by something or I got a rash. It's driving me crazy. And, of course, another reason why I don't like to ride the bus I got this nut coming up to me. He was babbling away in God knows what language. It wasn't anything remotely resembling English. <laughs> or if it was, it was his own special English. So, all right. I will catch you next time. And I'm going to do one more video, put all this stuff away, take a shower and rest for the night and listen to Donald Trump's speech in Sacramento. Oh, yeah. One thing amazed me. I got in a discussion with the black female bus driver. Now, it's not a racist comment. That's exactly what she was. She was very nice, but she kept insisting that she heard Donald Trump make anti-black racist comments. I have never, to the best of my recollection, heard him say anything against blacks. She said, we called them lazy. Well, and I told her, you know what? Everybody's lazy. There isn't a person on this planet that hasn't been lazy once in his life, unless they're so impoverished that they got to work 18 hours a day. Um, so that's a silly statement to wake. And I asked her, well, what day and month did he say this? And she couldn't answer me. But she had kept insisting she heard it. So go figure with that one. All right. Have a great evening. Try to stay cool. It is 80 in here. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.